you just touched on a subject that's very close to my heart. What role the maintenance teams play into the operations of a property, of a site, but also I'm looking at them as an integral part of your marketing plan. And I'm going to explain. When you have employees going to address maintenance issues, they're basically wearing the company uniform mm -hmm. with the company logo, hopefully, right? And they should look professional, clean cut, clean uniforms, no stains, look good and smell good and speak professionally. Imagine if you don't have some or any of that. What type of image does your company show in front of our residents, right? So I've been a big proponent on saying you have to look for the opportunity, for the potential for maintenance teams to become one of your tools in your marketing box. Not because they're tools, but be that secret weapon in your marketing. So if I was to ask you, Lorena, could you put together a plan, like a pitch for the higher ups for the executives of Graystar Company, for example, right? How do we convince the executives, people at the top level, that there's value into representing, into investing in maintenance and use them as people that are carrying the marketing message for our brand? I would start off, to be honest, looking at the numbers for reputation management. They're our first point of the face right and they see the properties they're there when you first move in they're there throughout your move in during your stay they're the first touch points and then when you also move out right and so do you want to continue staying with a community with gray start right so you gave that example you know i may want to move here and it's because of the location, but I may want to stay with the Gray Star family, but it just has to be somewhere else because I got a job somewhere else. We want to keep and retain all of our customers, right? There's such value in retaining the customers rather than turning them over. So understanding where does our reputation start and how do we want to grow it? And what's that dollar value for our reputation? Because it's pretty high. You're starting off with the reputation low. People are looking at it. They're not just looking at the negative. They're looking at the response. Do you value your reputation? Are you responding to all the reviews? There's going to be people, obviously, you know, people that complain, talk the loudest, but they want to see, does your company respond to those reviews? And a lot of the reviews come from their day-to-day -day on the property on site, which is, again, in hand with their maintenance team. So I, it's interesting, the other day on our Innovation Council, one of the executives, it was CEO, she said that she pushed back on her teams and said they wanted to roll out clothing attire. And she gave them the option. She goes, here's what you have to stay within. Here are the different things that I expect. It has to have a logo. It has to have this kind of material. This is what I want you to kind of look at. But you guys decide as a team to sit together and decide what our clothing is going to look like. I think that's amazing. At the end of the day, people in corporate don't wear the same clothes that everybody on site does. They, they might be choosing it, but they don't understand how it works for them every day. So giving them that opportunity to have a say in how they look and how they feel is a great representation of, hey, they care about what I think, and then I represent the company in a positive way to be much more effective. So I would definitely start off with what is that value for your reputation? And in holding that to say, our maintenance adds value to our reputation, and this is how it's going to grow us. 